Hey everyone, Gameplay Vids247 here. Welcome back to my Clicker Heroes playthrough. So, ladies and gentlemen, here we go. We start our new journey towards episode 400 today. Holy hell, everyone, it begins again. I swear it's just like Groundhog Day, everyone. If you don't know what Groundhog Day is, it's pretty much where. Uh, it's a really funny act, I can't remember his name now. Damn, but yeah, he wakes up every day and he repeats the same thing over and over and over again. So pretty much this is what it feels like now, Clicker Heroes. Uh, we've passed 300 episodes, but yet we're still going to be doing the same thing, everyone, trying to beat our highest zone ever. So yeah, either way, I really hope that you all do enjoy today's episode. Please remember to hit that like button if you did. And of course, thank you all very much for watching. We actually passed, I think, almost 6,000 views on the Part 300 special. So thank you all so much, man. You're all amazing out there. That's really made my whole year so far, seriously. Uh, in today's episode, we're actually going to be spending 3.2 uh, billion hero cells, guys. So, we'll probably get onto that as soon as possible, I suspect. I mean, what else can I really do at this point? I can probably... Yeah, I guess I can start buying some heroes now, if need be. I just, just to get the ball rolling, I guess. So, let's just buy our... Just, you know, the stock standard heroes here, guys. Just to make sure we have our DPS rolling. Grind mode is turned off, so that's good. Let's quickly buy all the Midas' abilities, just so we can get that extra gold. Fantastic. Uh, Amenhul Tep, we'll purchase that as well. Let's buy, watch the DPS counting, ready? Let's buy all available upgrades. Woo, very nice damage boost there. Fantastic, dude. Um, what else do we have? Ice Wizard. Just try and look, guys. Need to make sure I get all the abilities that I can, obviously. I suspect we're all okay at the moment, so that's good. 25, 25, 25, 25. Just make sure we have every ability before we continue on here. Well, all abilities that we can get, I guess. We're only on level 36, no, 37, and yet we have Beast Lord unlocked. Holy hell, that's something really different. Okay, you can tell the times are changing, everyone. We're getting further and further into the game now. It's good stuff, seriously. Alright, let's start spending these uh, souls, shall we? Here we go. Gonna pull up the calculator, pull it to the left side here. Alright, so it's time to spend these 3.2 billion hero souls, guys. Uh, 19,000 into Aragath. No worries. Atman, 3. Oh, the Ancient of Murder, 9,700. Bubbos, 4. Kronos, 3. Dogcog, 4. Dora, Four. Fortuna, three. 9,700 for Fragsworth? No, what about Jugger? Hang on, where's Fragsworth? Fragsworth's down, uh, back up here, isn't it? Wait, do I even have Fragsworth on here? I should. Yeah, I do, thank God. Oh my God, dude, that scared the hell out of me then. Just had it like a mind blank. <laughs> Alright, so 9,700 to Fragsworth. 1,200 into Juggernaut. Ancient of Shadows. Kuma is 3, so 3 into Kuma. Libertes, 18,000. Mammon, 18,000. Mimsy, 18,000 as well. Mugulez was saved to last. Nogrenit, 2,000. Uh, Silatus, 19,000. Solomon, 4,800. And the rest will go into Mugulez here, is that correct, everyone? That's probably it now, isn't it? That's it. 513 million hero souls on hand. That's where we're going to leave it for now, I think. No worries at all, game. Uh, let's get... We need to get energized. Hang on, just bear with me, guys. Just going to get energized here. There we go, lovely. Just energize the dark ritual. Look at this, everyone. i got a frozen Coke. It's just melted. It's so hot in Australia, man. It's ridiculous. Even at night time. It's crazy. 30 degrees, everyone. So 30 Celsius. That's, you know, that's up there. It's like 10.30 at night or 11 o'clock at night and it's still 30 degrees. It's ridiculous, man. Alright, so just close that. Now, I won't be reading out your comments today, Rom, because there's just too many comments in the last episode. Um, obviously, because it was a special. So, what I'd like to do is say thank you all so much for saying uh, congratulations and all the well, well wishes comments, obviously, uh, for the series and stuff. Please post a comment on this episode so I can reply to it in the next episode, alright? We pretty much start the ball again, guys. We start rolling the ball again. Start commenting on this episode, I'll read it out next episode, and we'll, and we'll continue on from there. You guys know the deal by now, come on, we've done 300 episodes. <laughs> um, let's check out how our mercenaries are going, shall we? So none have died, which is fantastic, obviously. That's very good to see. Uh, what else can we actually pull off here, though? Just gotta think. 
Do I want to collect these now or later? 3.9 billion. So we can collect this now just to get the extra souls, I guess. Let's do that now, shall we? Donald the Legend. We can ascend for 1.1 milli- Oh, well, no. Sorry, 1.1 billion. We'll leave that for now, I think. Uh, you gold, 4 hours, 12. Just need what I want to do. Let's do the... Let's do the gold, I reckon. 50% chance of a relic. Here we go. Let's roll the imaginary dice here. Got nothing. Far out. Jesus Christ, that is brutal. Let's go for gold again. I'm not going to collect these gold quests until I actually hit a wall, everyone. That's my advice to all you guys out there. Uh, just make sure that, obviously, you when it comes to gold quests, you collect those quests once you hit a wall. Because the gold quests actually scale with the level that you're on. So, obviously, if you get a gold quest at around level 100, it's going to be much, much more weaker compared to a gold quest at level 1000. Hopefully, you get the drift there. <laughs> Um, a lot of people make the mistake, including me, even I've made the mistake of actually collecting my quest way too early, guys. So, that's something that you don't really want to do, if that makes sense. Now, the clan. How's the immortal boss, or the immortal level going here? Still way too high, level 51. That is brutal, dude. Immortal's way too high. We have a whole bunch of new recruits, though. Please say hi. Hi. <laughs> Gotta reject you, though. Gotta reject you. Let me in, gameplay vids. Gotta reject you as well, friend. You're way too low. Michael, you're too low. Green Sky, yeah, these these guys are all okay, except for Kyle. Sorry, Kyle, but I think you're a bit too high for the clan now. I'm going to have to start lowering that limit, uh, because people are just owning the Immortals too much at this point. Even Jammy Gun 23 I'm going to have to lower you down as well, my friend. These guys are okay at the moment, because they're around my level, so that's good. So around, pretty much, guys, I want you to all join if you're around the 3200 to 3800 mark. Uh, probably the highest, though, will be 4000. That's the, the highest. Because I've let people in that are over 4,000 and they just, they've absolutely destroyed the Immortal. And it kind of screws up the clan, if you, if you guys know what I mean there. So, yeah, I mean, pretty much we're well on our way now to dominating, which is fantastic stuff. I can't wait to see how far we can actually push it in today's episode. I have a feeling we'll easily get to 500. It's just the, the amount of grind that's going to take, guys, it might take just a little bit. Obviously, if we don't get to 500 on screen, we'll do it idly. So, while well, we're offline, of course. Because at the moment, all we're really doing is just crushing the levels. There's no real threat whatsoever when it comes to hitting a wall or anything. Um, obviously, I can ascend for 1.1 milli uh, billion hero souls. So, I don't know if that's something that I want to do now or later on. Just got Dread Knight there. Beautiful. So, we've got Frostleaf and Dread Knight's abilities. Very nice. So, that's pretty much the end of their, I guess, uh, their little spotlight in this episode. That's the last we're going to be seeing of these two guys for quite a while. Because I won't be leveling them up at all until the next ascension. <laughs> really, really trying to focus on Atlas here as well, but then again, I could chuck my Gilded Statuses into the Masked Samurai, and the Masked Samurai would be able to carry us without any issues whatsoever. Just got the Masked Samurai well over 1,000 there, so 1225. Let's chuck the Gilded Statuses into the Masked Samurai just to give him that needed DPS boost. So he's going to be able to actually grind us so far while we're offline, everyone. Now he's at 1325, which is fantastic. Still haven't clicked at all, so we still have that Aragath bonus very active right now. Let's get back. Because we have two auto-clickers, obviously that's a big boost to gold found, because we're idle. Uh, Another in its ability is one point, oh, for me anyway at the moment, it's 1.35e5%. Gold per unassigned auto-clicker when idle. No clicks for 60 seconds. So, Ancient of Moderation, fantastic Ancient, man. I mean... There's not much really more you can ask for with an ancient like that, guys. It's actually a really, really good one. So hopefully everyone's using that, um, you know, ancient correctly. I hope that they're not buying it and going active straight away because that's pretty much a waste of time. But yeah, guys. So yeah, we're going pretty well here. I'm happy. Happy with how everything's going so far with this game. Funny thing is, though, sooner or later I'm going to have to actually transcend everyone. It's just getting to the point where I have to transcend is going to take so goddamn long. Because the problem is, the next Ancient Soul that I actually get is at 73.3 billion Hero Souls. So, to, I guess to achieve 73.3 billion, I'm going to have to actually grind so, so much still. Like, I know at the end of it, when I'm nearing the transcension wall, I will actually be getting 73.3 uh, billion per... Immortal kill, I'd say. Or no, not not per immortal kill, sorry. I'll be getting probably a quarter of that. I think it tells you here, max transcendent primal reward. So 19.2 billion hero souls per primal kill. That's going to be the, the limit, okay? 
So I guess it's not going to be too hard to achieve that goal of 73.3 billion. It's just going to take such a long time for me to actually reach my limit there. Obviously, Borb is the one that's going to increase that. That's limit-wise, and Fan's the one that gives us the acceleration speed, so we get more souls uh, per Primal. You guys didn't know that, by the way. It's quite interesting. I always get the comparisons people post in my comment section about Borb and, uh, uh, what's it called? Fan. Fan's like the acceleration on a car, and Borb is like the max speed, if that makes sense, guys. So Borb increases the limit of the Transcendent Primal rewards, and the Fan's is pretty much how quickly you get them, if that makes sense, because you get more of a... It's pretty interesting how that all works, honestly. I'm fairly sure I got that right. I hope they didn't say that the wrong way around. I'm fairly sure that's what the comparison is. Can we purchase Atlas yet? Come on, man. We're at 200. No, we still cannot purchase Atlas. Damn it. We're coming close to Atlas, though. Sooner or later, guys, I'm guessing. Maybe not in this episode, but I'm sure sooner or later we will hit Atlas, everyone. Just going to give us some time here. Keep leveling up Mars Samurai here. Get the Mars Samurai to 1500. We should be well on our way to at least two, 250, I'd say. Easy. So how many Primal Souls are we getting now per Primal Boss? Just going to see. There's that little click of all the Chinese New Year is obviously still active. When the hell does that end, everyone? Probably at the end of the month or what? I'm not too sure. Just got two rubies. Fantastic. How many rubies do I have in total now? Just four. All I have is four rubies right now, guys. So we're even rebuilding our rubies, for God's sake. It's going to take so long now. 1450 right now for the Masked Samurai. Doing quite well indeed. Just need to keep grinding up to 250 here, guys. Do I collect the gold now or later? That's the thing. As I said earlier, it's probably best that we just wait to collect that gold. There's no point really wasting these valuable quests that could help us out big time. But, well, potentially help us out later on in, in the episode or even in tomorrow's episode. So we'll just leave these two mercenaries to try and get some more gold for us. And we'll leave these here not collected. Simple as that, guys. Simple as that. My Samurai is almost at 1500, by the way, which is great. 250 is coming up. So we are set, dude. Hopefully we can hit 300 by today's episode. I reckon we will without any real issues. Maybe. Yeah, nah, definitely. Place your bets, everyone. Will we hit 300? I guarantee we will. Shouldn't really be that hard. I mean, under the 20 minute mark as well, I reckon we can easily smash 300. I was hoping for 500, but I don't think that's going to be achievable today, unless, hmm, we just keep grinding non-stop. I honestly believe my summer I'll be able to carry us well over 500 while we're offline. Especially now, since my summer is actually 1500, so that's exactly where you want my summer to be, dude. Getting some more treasure chests here, getting very lucky with the treasure chest job. It's fantastic. And it only got me 25 levels of the Masked Samurai. You're kidding me. That is rough. 265 is coming up. Past that with ease. Almost 100,000 hero souls per primal kill now. Really, that's not going to help me at all at this point. I need to make sure I get much higher than that. But that's obviously going to take some time, guys. So we're still grinding here. Still grinding. 271. Going to hit 300 sooner or later. Still can't afford Atlas at all, though. That's the issue. Bit of a struggle, isn't it, everyone? A bit of a struggle. Let's see our achievements. How are they going? 76% in total. Buy 100 Ancient Souls. Drinking Deep. That's probably my nearest one I can get soon for achievement-wise. Soul Banker. Robber. Baron. Disciple of Solomon. Complete 2,500 quests for Hero Souls. That'd be a pretty good one, dude. Mercenary Champion. Get a Mercenary to level 20. My highest one is 16. I still have not unlocked Leroy Jenkins. Can someone explain to me why I still have not unlocked this mercenary after so long? I think I've buried well over 100 mercenaries at this point. I still have not unlocked him. Leroy Jenkins, man, you are screwing me over. Seriously. Mercenary Champion, though, is probably the nearest one I'll get as well. So, in reality, Drinking Deep... That's really not even plausible either, I guess. That's a hundred ancient souls. I'm struggling to get one right now. In reality, I think Mercenary Champion will be one I can get soon, guys. Uh, complete a hundred quests for relics. Uh, museum Curator. That's probably something next I can get as well. 
Let's see. Skill quest. No, that's all crap, crap, crap. Never gonna do them, really. <laughs> Down the bottom. I guess the zone ones are pretty good as well. Bury 200 mercenaries. Yes. I guarantee I'll get that as well. Just for the way that my mercenaries die all the time. The collector. Collect 1,000 relics. How did you find so many? Transcendent Zone Explorer. That's something I'll probably get this... This transcension, I reckon, everyone. I reckon we'll beat 4,000 finally, hopefully. We'll have to see what happens, though. So, let's go back. 1,600 for the Masked Samurai here. Fantastic stuff. We're doing super well. We just have to make sure that Masked Samurai gets to at least 2,000. Get that 10 times DPS boost again. That should set us up well and truly for the next episode, guys. Where we'll probably end up switching into Atlas or Terra or even for Thalo. I'm sure Glad Eye or Cadmia will be next as well, so we're just going to make sure it all works out. So at least we passed 320 almost, that's good. Slowly inching the Masked Samurai towards 2000. I think it's just going to take some time here. You know, the outsiders now. Everyone need. How's the clan going? Still the same. Today's raid. Let's try and damage the Immortal for today, shall we? Guarantee I can't even do 1% damage to it. How bad is that, ladies and gentlemen? Once you think about that carefully, right? How bad is that? Seriously. Look at that, man. That is terrible. Seriously, dude. How strong is this bloody immortal? Wow, man. Didn't even scratch it. Did not even scratch it. That is pathetic. That is legitimately so rough. 1.41 trillion damage. Whoo! Mortal level is just so high right now. So ridiculously high. So we're still at 350 here, guys. Almost, anyway. Should easily be able to hit 350. I reckon, legit, by tomorrow, we should be able to get to 1000 without any issues whatsoever. Just because of how far we're actually going to get into the game. There was another clickable, by the way. Didn't get a ruby, though, sadly. That's for the Masked Samurai, by the way. Not zone ever. Uh, not zone. <laughs> I wish I was at 1700 zone right now, but we still have to grind a whole bunch. Let me know in the comments, by the way, if you watched to the end. I'd love to know if people have actually watched to the end of this episode. That'd be fantastic. 350's coming up, guys. I'll personally thank you if you say you watched to the end, by the way. And you give me the timestamp of the end, that'd be great. Okay, my Samurai, 1700. Great stuff. I reckon that pretty much wraps it up for today's episode, ladies and gentlemen. I mean, what else can we really do at this point, except for grind and grind and grind? I guess we have to let the Mars Samurai take over now, and he'll work his magic overnight. We'll wake up tomorrow, and then, yeah, I guess we'll get back to kicking some major ass. All right, ladies and gentlemen, thank you all so much for watching. I really hope you all enjoyed today's episode of Clicky Heroes. Please remember to hit that like button if you enjoyed, and subscribe, comment, share to your friends. Do what you have to do, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you all tomorrow for the next part of this playthrough, alright? See you around, guys. You're awesome out there.